Item number SCP-7742, Security Level 3. Containment Class, Euclid. Secondary Class, Patnam. Disruption Class, Vlam. Risk Class, Warning. Assigned Site, Site 400. Site Director, Director Adam Desmond. Research Head, Not Applicable. Assigned Task Force, Not Applicable. Special Containment Procedures. With the approval of Site 400's current Site Director, SCP-7742 has been granted permission to continue his long-term employment with the SCP Foundation as an analytics containment supervisor. However, he is to be under constant surveillance and protected in order to prevent any accidental death. Note, Patnam, item facilitates its own form of self-containment, necessitating intensive observations and proactive procedures from the Foundation. Description. SCP-7742 is a designation given to former Foundation Field Agent Bronsky Batherson, previously an active operative of Mobile Task Force Eta-77, Spheres Within Spheres. SCP-7742 is currently stationed at Site 400 in the Newcastle region, Northern Ireland. To summarize, SCP-7742 possesses the capability of functional immortality with some noted hindrances. If a living organism directly or indirectly causes the death of SCP-7742, that organism will immediately transfigure into an exact identical physical copy of SCP-7742. This copy will retain the previous SCP-7742's memories and experiences that occurred prior to his death, along with its inherent anomalous properties. Extensive testing has shown that any living organism will be transmuted regardless of biology and composition. It is theorized by Foundation researchers that the only way for SCP-7742 to permanently expire is if he self-terminates, or if he dies through natural causes. Addendum 7742-1 Notable Resurrections 4th of January, 2018 5.43am During a night drive along a cliffside, SCP-7742 Two's vehicle collided with a car belonging to a Foundation researcher, researcher Rion Dejid. SCP-7742's vehicle tumbled down the cliffside and he eventually died of excessive bleeding and spinal rupture. Researcher Dejid spontaneously transmutated into SCP-7742. The newly created SCP-7742 was able to pull over his car and contacted emergency service. 9th of March, 2019. 3.36pm. While in Site 400's third level men's restroom, SCP-7742 accidentally slipped and fell on a wet spot on the floor, resulting in him hitting his head on a nearby ceramic sink and dying and snapping his neck at the base of the skull. Janitor Finley North who was within the present no quarters at the time, transmutated into SCP-7742. Through civilians' investigations, it was revealed that Janitor North neglected to properly place a slipping hazard sign upon the red floor during his shift cleaning the third-level men's restroom. 13th of July, 2019, 4.56 a.m. In the midst of a raid conducted by the Chaos Insurgency, SCP-7742 was among the personnel that was captured and held hostage in Site 400's multi-purpose cafeteria. After around 30 minutes, SCP-7742 attempted to assault one of the insurgents, resulting in him being killed via gunfire from the other operatives. An insurgent transmutated into SCP-7742, he immediately wields his combat firearm previously held by the insurgent to successfully terminate the rest of the operatives. SCP-7742 would proceed to release Foundation personnel from captivity and transport them to an emergency shelter. Following the event, 
The footage from the cafeteria was recovered, and SCP-7742 was eventually awarded the Foundation Silver Star for outstanding valor and meritorious service to the Foundation. Addendum 7742-2 Neutralization On the 27th of November 2020, during his smoke break outside Site 400, over a particularly bad thunderstorm, SCP-7742 was struck by a quick lightning bolt, resulting in him experiencing internal burns and severe organ damage. After he failed to attend a daily gathering with colleagues, Site Security would eventually discover his corpse on the ground of Site 400. Despite extensive examination, a newly created instance of SCP-7742 was not found. As SCP-7742 was pronounced truly deceased, his remains were subsequently cremated and given to his closest living relative, Alexander Batherson, father. A specific spot within Site-400's cafeteria was used to create a memorial for Agent Blosky Batherson, Methodist Silver Star and personal memorabilia situated there. SCP-7742 has been redesignated as neutralized. Attention! Emergent Threat Tactical Response Authority Priority 1 Announcement Both the Emergent Threat Tactical Response Authority, ETRA, and the Department of Analytics have noted a sudden significant increase in global disasters and calamities, specifically those caused by heavy rainfalls, extreme thunderstorms, dense snowstorms, frequent flooding, and multiple occurrences of destructive cyclones. In addition to this, it was also observed that a number of meteorological and weather-related anomalies contained by the Foundation have been either neutralized, nullified, through unknown means, or have their anomalous effects considerably amplified. Due to these unforeseen effects, the ETRA has declared the crisis a worldwide LNT-class catastrophic climate collapse scenario. To ensure the preservation of the Foundation and the Veil, vale, personnel are to be reminded that all requests originating from the ETRA are mandatory directives carrying the authority of Overwatch Command. Dr. Dan Beep Director of ETRA Addendum 7742 Incident Log On the 9th of December 2020, surveillance cameras situated outside the grounds of Site 400 captured footage of a seemingly male individual manifesting approximately 15 meters above the ground and falling down. A containment team was dispatched to investigate the individual with the suspicion that they might be an anomaly created from the LNT class scenario, it was discovered that the individual was in fact Agent Blonsky Batherson. He was in a state of extreme emotional distress and trauma, with containment personnel noting him mumbling and murmuring nonsensical sentences. Burns of varying degrees are visible on his right arm and torso. Agent Batherson was immediately he rushed to Site 400's Health and Pathological Infirmary, where his subsequent physical treatment and therapy are still in progress. Investigation into the surrounding area where Agent Patterson manifested resulted in personnel discovering an unknown metallic object located five meters from where the individual initially landed. The object was designated as Anonymous Object, 04207742 and was placed into containment. Despite its moderate size, 20 centimeters in height and 12 centimeters in width, considerable amount of force had to be used in order to remove it. Analysis has revealed that large traces of electromagnetic radiation are present on anonymous object 04207742, especially on its metallic structure. Investigation into its correlation to Agent Batherson's sudden return is still ongoing.